uh, welcome back to the video um, I said from the last video that I'm going to be walking you through the toolbox uh, so you know what you are up against <laughs> there, there are a lot of things here but uh, they're not scary so let's go through them briefly because um, I'm going to actually be creating video for each of the I mean each of the control this ones are called the standard controls this is your pointer it's just your pointer this is the label you see we've we've used the label here uh, lib, label earlier on uh, what it does is uh, you can write you can use it to uh, to write text on it it's just a simple um, control to display text uh, the text box as you know is um, is a control that you can use to receive input from user so your user can type in inside the text box I'm sure you have seen text box being used a lot on the internet the next one is uh, a button which uh, I'm sure everybody has uh, have used um, in the lifetime you know the button is used to send information to the server so uh, the there is a link button which is another form of button you know it's, uh, it's like it's a link it looks like a HTML link but it's actually a button so it's cool you can use this one I'm gonna be teaching you how to use everything so just um, <coughs> relax and just uh, follow me here uh, the next one is the image button uh, so this is image button you can uh, you can use image here you can you know set the image that will represent the button uh, you know so if you want to design a very very beautiful button you've uh, if you've done your image in say Photoshop then you can use that as a button instead of using the default button that is uh, being supplied um, the hyperlink is just what it is it's an hyperlink you know what hyperlink is it's a text with uh, that becomes a link so that you people can visit other web pages it's very different from a link button and I'll be telling you the difference uh, the next one is the drop down list uh, the drop down list enable you to uh, choose from many options by clicking on this uh, little down arrow and it's going to show you all the options that's available I'm sure you've seen it uh, the list box gives you an option to choose between many options just like a uh, drop down list but uh, you can select multiple options from within the list uh, the checkbox the next one is the checkbox well we all know what checkbox is if you can see you can uh, you can have multiple checkboxes and you can actually select between options. You can say, "What do you want? Do you want to beef burger or cheese burger or chicken burger?" So you can select multiple. You can say, "I want beef burger and I want chicken burger as well." <laughs> I like food, don't I? Uh, Checkbox list. Uh, actually, uh, this will you can each, uh, bound this one to a database I'll tell you what I means in the future so you can choose a data source you can bind it to for example an XML file or a database so you can have a list of um, uh, checkboxes to choose from and the radio button uh, just like um, <coughs> just like um, a checkbox where you can select an option but a radio button allow you only to choose one option you cannot choose more than one option so you can uh, you must only choose between ch beef burger or chicken burger even though I want the two I can only choose one sad isn't it then the radio button list is just like the um, <coughs> checkbox is like the checkbox list here where you can buy where you can bind to an XML file or database so you can have multiple options to choose from uh, don't worry don't you know going to be confused image is just a way to drop an image on your website you know you can just um, I'll show you how to do that you can say image URL or the the image URL is um, I'll show you that you can have the content of your uh, your 
you have to add let me let me tell you what I'm trying to do yeah if you go to solution explorer you have to add existing item then you can choose the maybe go to your computer and choose the file then you reference it here where it says the image URL don't worry everything will be covered in details <coughs> image map <laughs> this image map is uh, is very cool because it allows you to um, sorry it allows you to create uh, an area different area on an image so that you can create you can click on different area of an image if that makes sense to you so you can have one image one complete image but every time you click on different area you get different responses you know anyway I'll show you everything you can add a table uh, I don't need to be dragging and dropping everything on the <laughs> form so anyway you can add a table to your web application you, you can add a bullet list and hidden field you can have a field that is hidden you can have a literal this literal I will tell you what it does in the future you can add a calendar you know, anyway, everybody know what a calendar does so you can display place and time uh, hard rotator uh, this is good for advertisement if you're on your website you want to display uh, advert so you can use the hard rotator so you can have like three banners three different advertisements and they it is going to be rotat rotating between them so you can write a lot of uh, programming you can do a lot of programming to say I want you to display one advert like three times more than other ones so we'll get to all those Hop file upload this is very cool as well this is when you actually upload a file onto your database or into the file system wizard <laughs> was a wizard we we'll get to that uh, XML you can create an XML document multi view you can have uh, one page to <laughs> display multiple sections so it behaves kind of like a hijacks if you don't know what hijax means it's okay the panel the panels is used as a container for a different no, let me show you what that means so this is you can have a panel and you can place a lot of control inside the panel anyway we get to that the placeholder uh, we're going to be using this a lot and when we're doing the master page so placeholder I just you know uh, gives um, <laughs> sorry I don't know how to explain things properly but uh, when I get to the point I'll tell you what it does but uh, I will use this a lot when we doing the uh, master page the view will explain the substitution and the localize uh, I want to stop the video now so it doesn't go above um, the 10 minutes area because uh, we still have a lot to cover the database the validation navigation login web parts and Ajax extension I'm just going to do a brief introduction to everything because just like I said I'm going to be doing a thorough video on each one of these uh, control because uh, it's good to know so thank you